Hi everyone, this is Ubeida Hassan. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a single push button to perform more than one different tasks. Uh, this trick is very useful. Uh, I have created an uh, schematic here using approaches. So I'm going to simulate it to see how it works. Okay. I have three LEDs the red, green and yellow so I'm going to use uh, this single push button over here to turn on a single LED at a time someone may use uh, three push buttons uh, and uh, and decided that if he presses the first push button then he may turn on the red LED the second push button for green LED and uh, the third push button for yellow LED so Instead of using all those push buttons, you can use only a single push button. How to do that? Let's see the card. And I think at the end, you'll see how useful it is. Uh, the first of all lines, just pin definitions uh, for a button and the LEDs. And uh, I've created three variables. The first variable that you have to create is a variable that will store the number of button presses. So here is my variable, I call it the press counter. The second variable is the button state. Uh, this is the variable uh, that will store the current state of the push button after pressing a, a button. And the last button state uh, this stores the previous state of the push button. So in the setup function, just configure the pins as input or output. Uh, for push button, it is an input device and the LEDs are the output. So it's, it's very clear for everyone, I think that. Uh, okay, I've used the serial monitor to see the number of button press. So I have to initialize the serial communication for the serial monitor. So I did that here. Okay, in the loop function, the first line just read the state of the button using digital read and uh, then assign it to the variable, the button state. So the button state will be storing uh, wherever the state of the button it is. So let's hear this. Okay, sorry. The first thing that you have to do is just use an if statement uh, and check whether the button state and last button states are not the same. So if the button state is not equal to the last button state and inside that just check the state of the push button. If it goes low then increase the press counter. So in the serial monitor I will print the string number of button press and then in the next line I will print the, pro the press counter okay so uh, here um, okay so this if here uh, if the press counter now if it's one then I will turn on the red LEDs white green and yellow are off and uh, if uh, the press counter is two then I will turn on the green LED while red and yellow are off and uh, if the press counter is three then I will turn on the yellow LED while green and red are off uh, if the press counter is four then assign the press counter equal to zero then uh, turn off all the LEDs and this line over here is uh, it's a tricky if you remove it you're gonna have some problems so make sure you assign the last button state to the button state okay let's see how it works okay let me run the simulation okay this is, let me press the push button. This is the first press. The number of button press is one and red LED is high. Wow, the second press, and the green is high. The third press, yellow is high. And the fourth press, all LEDs goes off. And uh, the first press again, second, third. Four, one, two, three. 
I hope you enjoy it. Just subscribe to my channel and follow my Instagram account. I do anal programming tips. I'll I will post all of these uh, the schematic and the card and everything. Okay, thank you guys.